demonstrating here is the ability to train AI directly on the camera. And so, for example, in this use case, we're talking about a retail use case where you can imagine you go to the superstore and you want to weigh some bananas because you want to buy them, but you don't know the, the skew for the bananas. What's nice about the AI is that it recognizes that these are bananas and it gives me the, the weights. And because it's an AI, it generalizes very well. And so, for example, if I add in another banana on top of it, it'll still recognize that it's bananas. Mm -hmm. uh, we've trained it on bananas. We've trained it on an apple. We've trained it on different apples. And even though they're different colors, uh, because we trained it this way, it still recognizes that they're apples. But what's nice about our particular technology is that you can also train directly on the camera without ever having to go to a server. And so, for example, here, if we put a lime, uh, which is the same color as the bananas, it's going to say, this is nothing I know. And for me to train it, I just have to go down here and I say, I want to create a new class. Uh, I call this a lime, and I say, train. I take one image. Uh, I'm going to take another image, and I try to, to make it very variable just so that I can generalize well. And with three images, it now recognizes limes consistently. Because it's a nice AI, because it's artificial intelligence, and it generalizes, even if I add a second lime, it knows that it's still limes. Now these are all fruits, but this could be applied in many different applications, like for example manufacturing, uh, where you train a system and you train it on what good product looks like, and if something doesn't look like good product, it might say nothing I know or anomaly. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to show you glasses, right? And so these are glasses. It's never seen the glasses. It's going to say nothing I know. I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it orange glasses. And now I say train. It trains. I'm going to move it around, show it a few images. And now it recognizes what orange glasses look like. Now one of the downsides of AI is that it does generalize very well. And so if I show it black glasses, it might think that it's orange glasses. Now, because of our technology, we can incrementally learn. And so if this is something that I want to recognize as a defect, then I just go in here and I change the class to say black glasses. Train. And again, I show it a few images. And now it starts recognizing black glasses. And so if I swap these and I put the orange glasses back on, it'll recognize that these are orange glasses again. Now, what's nice about this, everything is being trained on the camera. Uh, the AI is running on the camera. But we have capabilities of also exporting the information to the cloud. We have the capability of training on one camera and a different camera and then merging the information together. Or we can just keep it here if, if it's important for the user to, to keep the information directly on the camera. All right. Thank you very much.